Hello YouTube, today, um, welcome back, and today we're gonna be build, uh, making a VF, uh, GFX, so yeah guys. And now what you do is, open up the extension, load character, and for this video I'm gonna use Hazemus, make sure you spawn him as R6, okay? And, so what you do is, you put him on the ground, okay? And now, I, it's okay wherever you put him, but what you do is, now, uh, you select them. You don't click anchor, don't click anchor, make sure it's unanchored. Now what you do is, I accidentally open up load character by accident. So what you do is, you go b uh, back to the front, I don't know, I, I, this is called Animator Edit Classic. Um, I'll put the link in the description for the plugin, so yeah guys. After you use this, click anchor, it says, it shows this warning, just click anchor, so the yellow button, right? Now what you do is, you basically like, uh, make his pose and other stuff and now now you gotta wait for this to pose okay so like i'm just gonna make him do simple i'm gonna just make him like wave or something okay so sometimes you okay there's also um, if you look in the corner it says r okay if you wanna make if you wanna make him move uh, you wanna, if you wanna rotate it then you click r if you wanna make it like the air uh, moving arrow sign then you click r and yeah I was trying to do the back thing, trying to move, move the hammer. So yeah. Okay, now that I'm I'm fixing the position of the hand. So yeah. Okay. See, so, yeah, I those arrows pop up so I can move his arm. So position him in the right spot. And yeah. Okay. So after you've done that, okay, you I'm gonna just like edit this one. It's like far away a little bit. Edit his legs, and so it looks kind of cool. <coughs> after that what you do is um uh, now that's done now you click home uh to home and uh, you select them you select you select hazem okay you selected them after you click anchor okay after you're done you just select them now you can see that it's just all like it's already anchored you gotta do nothing okay after that's done now what you do is right click explore uh, selections doesn't show up on the screen but i turned it off okay now then it shows and then you have to choose a file where we have to put uh, so where we can find it so choose a, a destination to put it okay after that's done oh uh, tell and then I, i'm after i save that just making a folder to where to put it now the after that's done you save it and yeah guys so like this is basically it after the, the roblox studio is done now let's move on to blender okay so now right here th we open up blender and this is called a lightroom blender and so i'll set, put the link in the description and it's pretty good so what you do is put your character now you, you think oh, where's my uh, avatar at right so what you do is you click the camera button now you gotta rotate okay you right click okay you right click and then first you unselect it and then right click select and right click uh, or uh, right click and then click uh the first option that says geometry to or okay now i click the arrow again i click the camera so i can look and position him in the right spot okay after you are done that you, uh now we gotta we gotta set them like now you click view navigation then you click walk and navigation okay set your angle where you want to put it okay so i'm gonna set my angle yeah that that's my perfect angle i like that type of angle so yeah after that's done uh that's the main thing now what you're gonna do is click the view sh on the top it says view sh uh shadow porting or something on top i'm showing you guys right now that's called view uh viewport shadowing or something like that guys after you click that okay it's a it's a just like a little bit lag on now you can see it's, it shows the like colors if you go to camera it's, it's gonna not look anything what you have to do is uh you, you gotta click render and then you'll see what the colors like aren't like that good so what you have to click is oh, let me just show you in render mode real quick okay so that's the render mode right here it's run it is i just ha i forgot to put i'll show you the render thing but it's not show up soon after the render thing shows up and then i'll tell you guys yeah guys i don't know why i, I was just fixing the stuff in the obs studio 
now I popped up the render popped up and now this is what you gotta do <coughs> this is how it looks like there's no, it's not that like detailed type of cuz there's no colors are in a set so what you have to do is set the colors and now let me show you how to do that okay first you click this lightroom right there on the on the other side okay after you click lightroom you have to be on the button on the bottom if you see it now what you to see is do there's so many options okay the one you click are those ones okay you change the color to your choice like i'm gonna make this purple you could say yay yeah, because you know hey some like colors basically like purple his avatar is kind of like his shirt's kind of purple so like i i choose purple and and yeah but i decided to go with the yellowish type i don't know why but okay but then what you do is with the second one and then you change it to uh, I change I choose my colors but like choose your colors that you like so yeah it's, it's it matters what type of color your avatar is like what colors can match it change that to teal and like yeah I'll show you what in the render mode because it, after it's done the render looks really good okay now I'm gonna click I'm gonna click render now now I just seeing if my camera is pretty good the angle is kind of good so yeah after that's done I'm uh, uh, just click render and then you'll see okay before you do anything else make sure that uh, you you click on Hazem and then make sure his things on uh, his roughness on is on zero and his uh, metallic is on like zero that's not 211 probably that's good because then it makes it smoother and now I'm gonna click render render image on there you can at the left corner if you see on the corner it looks like a time after that time is done you gotta uh say uh, we're gonna save the image and i'll show you in the video when it's done okay so i just can't pretend i uh, just like it's just like i'm making the video up faster now what you're doing here is you click image on the top left corner click gamer and then you click save okay and then you gotta put it where you wanna save it and now I'm just saving it but you can't see it cause I disabled it so yeah after you save your uh, after you save your render uh, I'll show you the next steps now I'm saving the render right now so yeah um, I turned it off as I told you so yeah now we're gonna be moving to uh, photo ps uh, it's on browser it's just basically like photoshop but like because it's like a little bit easier I don't know like how to describe it but like yeah after you click open and then you're gonna click open from computer and then you're gonna choose the render that we did okay after now I load in the render now this is like just simple nothing else right now I'm gonna add like like outlines glows and everything else like you know now what you do is in this one uh the one thing you do is you click uh inner uh stroke okay after you click stroke we're gonna change the looks good like i like it at four or four pixel px or like 18 px is pretty good but i mean not 18 my i'm at eight so yeah i'm choosing my color i'm gonna just obviously wear purple because you know his uh, i told you earlier that um his uh avatar is like his like avatar is kind of like his purple is purple after I'm, I'm just fixing the stuff that I stayed right there. Then I, I chose to do 4 pixel PX, but then I changed my mind to do 8. Okay, now what you do is inner glow. Okay, make sure you click it so inner glow, you click inner glow and then you click inner glow. And then it makes sure these uh, this options come pop up. You change opacity, I changed it to like I kept it default 75 and then change my uh. Uh, I changed my noise to uh, what's it called? Uh, I changed my and then I'm, I was just picking my color. Then I I'm uh, tell you like how I'm doing a purple for the inner colors and I kept the noise noise at zero. Okay, and now what you do is you do uh you choose a spread and the size of it. So look, it's going up the inside of it. After you're done, you're gonna click outer glow. Okay, after you now you click outer glow, right? It's the same option. Change the color to normal one. Already. I'm just choosing my color where it is. So you could choose from there, or you could search up on 
uh, go uh, on Google and search up uh, what any color you like. Imagine a uh, blue hex code, right? It's like you see if the hashtag you want the hashtag there, so it's gonna automatically uh, put the color in. And now, what you do, you could change the size. Now, as you can see at the behind the background, it's an automatic look how purple it got. That's basically like the outline, but add more glow into it. And now, what you do is you uh, s export it as a PNG, okay? After you're done uh, exporting the PNG, save it somewhere that you could reopen it. And then next, we will be going to canva.com, okay? Can yeah, you guys just. Uh, put your e uh, you gotta just put your email and then you put your name and then you you gotta you gotta just verify it's gonna give you it's gonna for ask you for a code you go to your email and then blah 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 you see it by yourself okay now what you do is you in here upload the file right upload the image and then right here you add like you add like whatever you want uh, I, in my opinion choose blue ray background okay after you now click any image but I like the first top one the first one because it's a match so, uh, of pretty good then I then yeah you know so what you do is save the uh, uh, copy right click copy image and then you're gonna go to uh, uh, canva.com and then I'm gonna show you how to position it really good and yeah so right here you're gonna click control V control V and then what you do is you position it in the right position you can hold shift and then hold shift and drag the uh, corner on the bottom and, and then you set you click position to back backwards okay now you can see it's set to the back and sell it as the background right and then this are I tried purple I didn't like purple so I like blue blu ray background better so yeah I I tried it didn't fit me it didn't suit the color of the like of the GFX so I right clicked I cop I deleted the background the back one is and delete that one make sure you look how I deleted it so you, I clicked Control Z and then drag it down and then I delete it because where else it's gonna get deleted the the picture after you post that in it's gonna be looking like that okay you drag shift i didn't like it and then i clicked position to background didn't look good really really good so i just like put the blue one back to normal so yeah i just i hold shift and th then you can see how it pulled it down on the corner after that is done what i'm gonna start doing decorations so what you click it elemental okay then you click search up shapes search up store because I'm not sure how to do it so you, you choose the second one on that one and then what you do is change the color of it right? you click the you, if you see the black square on the left uh, on the left corner you click that and then you click the uh, you could choose whatever you want but I like the purple one better so I choose the purple one I was testing if others other ones gonna suit but no I like the purple one better so what I did was I uh, I resized it and then I click control C to control C to copy so, uh, I didn't click I forget to click control V now see I'm putting the stars in the right position and then yeah right here you can see I just I got kind of messed up with the thing I duplicated so many times so then I deleted it and then after after you're done deleting you're gonna search up uh, clouds okay I like the second one as well I'm, I don't know why I like the second one better but okay after you, you gotta just do that and then you're gonna click transparency it's on the top it's like it says transparent and then you I don't know I'm hovering over that but just click transparency and transparency and then you uh, I like it at 67 but I kept it at 59 so I then you copy uh, then you copy it and then you put them on the bottom on that put it on the bottom because it looked way better so i deleted it so i uh so i'm gonna delete that star layer because it didn't look it, it couldn't the cloud couldn't fit anywhere else so i deleted the bottom bottom store so you know and then after you are done that uh look I, i'm gonna delete this so i deleted it and then put that cloud in there okay then I resize and everything else. Now what you do is I I, I got lines here because I liked how like I like how in some like you might see other GFX like they have those lines that are in the background that are going up and down like up. See how that's up? And then it's like a it's like a pattern type you could say. 
and then now what I'm gonna do is uh, I, I, I'm gonna resize it what you do is uh, click that and then you click on and then I choose the color again I'm telling you I, I like uh, I'm, I click the wrong button so you're gonna click line style beside the box where it is and now I'm gonna change the color to like uh, black because it looked kind of better so yeah you know uh, uh, resizing and everything else so you can see how I'm like resizing and yeah and then I'm gonna, sh I'm, then I'm gonna show you how to send it to the background it, as it, how I'm gonna set it to back so it doesn't look bad at the there see how it's going inside the arm I don't like that type so I click I send it I clicked the wrong button it was supposed to be too uh, too backward it still didn't work for some reason I don't know why so what I did I um, now it worked I click control Z and then it worked perfectly so that issue happens so then what you have to do is um we have to click uh, you open the shape and and then what you have to do is uh, I, I'm resizing it so it looks perfect so as you can see right here that is and it's not um see how it's like overlapping with the arm I don't want to overlap it with the arm so what I'm doing is making it perfect so you can see I'm, I sent I set it to the background so it doesn't look messed up and yeah guys so it, the lines I didn't like the lines so I, I I'm just telling you if you want to add the lines that's how you add the lines but I'm gonna delete them because they don't look pretty they don't suit the thing so I'm deleting them I'm gonna delete them so first just try like making it perfect so it matches but then so I, I, I didn't I didn't like it so I'm thinking I, I deleted it later on but like I'm just trying to because I'm recording this after the video, I, I'm editing. I edit the video, so I could. I was just recording through that. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see, I uh, I'm deleting. Uh, it's this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna delete it now. Look, as if if that happens, just uh, hold your left click button and then drag. Uh, just you know how you on on the desktop has like blue select. Like, that what you have to do like that. See. So you do that and then you delete it. See how I'm deleting it right now? I d then click Control Z if that happens one more time. Now that's it guys. This is how I look at the end. This is like the result I'm showing you basically. But uh, then what you do is like, I'm d this is the result. Okay, then what you do is click download. Okay, after you click download. And then you click one more time the purple button. After, now you will see the process bar right there. It should be pretty quick. Now you open up the down. It's down to this. So yeah, guys. So I'll see you guys next time. I for now. I peace.